Hi guys, welcome back to Not Another Budget, I'm Nicole and this is my first ever, not only is it a food haul video but it is specifically a prep food haul video. Now I am... Emily's budget said it really really well in one of her recent videos and if you haven't already you definitely need to go and check out her prepper playlist but she said even if you're just picking up one tin extra and putting it away you are technically a prepper and I hate to say that not only is this more than one tin but I have been getting the one or two or three extra tins probably for the past decade. So it's something that everyone in my family has always done. Mum always had a stash, an extra kind of pantry cupboard full of spares. When I was younger, we used to have blackouts because it's a really rural area. We used to have the water cut off for three or four days if there was a burst pipe because it would take so long for it to get fixed. So. There was always things, My both of my siblings have, one lives away from my parents' home, one lives at their home, and even they have kind of extras and spares of everything. And I've always made sure that even when I've had no money, I have always had food. Now, there is a little bit of camera shake at the minute, that's because I'm free holding the camera, and the cat may pop in and say hello, because he always gets curious. Now, at the minute you're just seeing a pretty stationary, slightly shaky picture, that will change, because I'm going to show you in detail what I have here. But just to caveat, this week is all about um, battening down the hatches for me. If you've seen my budgeting video, you will have seen that already, and that's what the priority is. So it is extremely rare that I do a prep food specific shop to this extent, and what I've done is moved and changed my spending categories for this week to accommodate this. Now, I already have a pretty hefty pantry cupboard, so this is by no means a beginner's prep haul. This is all things which I have either already tried and already used, or I've looked at um, advice from the likes of Emily's Budgets and others in the UK prepping scene, and also where I've gone through recently, sorted out that cupboard, and I have found gaps and realised that I need to stash them. So, do bear with me, this is the first time I've ever done any one of these and what I've done is written the prices on them. Um, there's not going to be an overall total because I'm not done. I haven't yet gone through to B&M's or Asda in the city, that trip has been put back by a couple of days which is fine, um, but I want to see what I can find there as well. So at the minute there is not an overall total for everything. Everything here as well was actually bought over the course of two trips and this is an Audi and a Tesco's specific haul and the camera is having some focusing issues just because. Um, so this is an Audi and a Tesco specific haul and what I will say, having shopped now for these specific items, I would say there's not much in it actually in prices at the minute between the two. So I'm going to have to move some things and I've got a pile of stuff there just off camera, that I was going to show you but I ran out of room and that is actually non-food stuffs that is that I'm prepping but I will think I will do a separate haul video for that. This is all cupboard staples slash long life slash tins slash jars slash packets. There's no frozen or fresh um, food here at all. So I'm going to start I think in this corner and just move things kind of off and onto my oven that you've seen a picture of. So I've got two packets of the 32p penne pasta. Now I will say the first time I did a visit to Aldi and Tesco's there wasn't a lot on the shelves at all unless you were looking to kind of go up one or two brands and by which point it was too expensive. My second trip was far more um, productive and I made sure that whatever I took there was still enough left on the shelves for other people. But this is 32p. In the past I think I've paid 25 to 29p for this. So I got two packets of that and that is 500 grams and that it goes until July 2024. And that is Tesco's. The Sultanas were 99p and these were Audi. And then the nuts and the uh, cashews and the peanuts, these were all Tesco, so anything that is Stockwell is Tesco specific. The roasted and salted cashews were 75p. The unsalted fruit and nut mix is 55p and I got two packs of those. And then the roasted and salted peanuts are 45p. 
And what I will do once I've gone through the city and picked up the items is I'm actually going to decant things like the pastas and the nuts and stuff into long life um, airtight jars because that's going to be a lot better on space going forward. Um, so for now, these are staying in the packets. I'm dreading actually putting this lot away, I have to say. <laughs> um ot's 35p um you should always have like for me i make sure that i've got food that i would eat and i eat biscuits and crisps and snacks and things like that so i do have obviously things like your tuna and your other stuff that you can see here but yeah i'm absolutely gonna have sweet stuff in my prep scabbard because <laughs> i don't want to get down to one solitary can of tuna towards like the end of it and haven't have had nothing sweet at all um Stock cubes were 52p. These have gone up so much in price. I think when I was buying these at the start of the year, they were 32p in Audi. And bizarrely enough, this is the thing that's annoyed me most about the price rises. And I don't know why, but when I was just going through and writing them all on and checking my receipts, I just, I got quite, I got a little bit ragey, I will be honest. Um, I'm not going to revisit that rage because you don't need to see a raged at me over 52p stock cubes. Um, stock pots, 75p each. Um, I cook with these anyway so even if these don't stay in my pantry for long um, because I use them an awful lot in for bases and soups and I do an awful lot of cooking from scratch where I can um, these actually have gone up I think 10p so they were 65 or 69p at least and they've gone up but they are still cheaper and than the kind of branded or Tesco's own version so I have those um, instant noodles 32p still very similar in price I got some couscous and did I write the price on this yeah 39p you just add water and then I would just bulk it out with chicken or something else or have it as a side but that's an easy go-to lunch they didn't have these are Tesco's they didn't have the ones in Audi but the 39p no 34p and again you can just add that to chicken or something and then the chicken and mushroom pasta um 55p for that one as well i try and get them from audi if i can because they are slightly cheaper but they're always gone whenever i'm in there um to go and do these trips has been two 40 minute journeys each way to get to an audi and a tesco's and it is a big tesco's thankfully but a small audi spaghetti 23p so i have two packs of those and again i will decant that as soon as i can just to try and make that storage space a little bit better strawberry jam is 34p um tuna at the minute is still 55p and tesco's were price matching this and i think sainsbury's are as well it's in brine but i'm going to drain it off anyway so i don't care i'm a very i'm really fussy like i don't like things like spam or corned beef or any of the things like that and i am there are things in here that i've got to try like the steak stewed steak and gravy which i will be trying before i commit to it but that was still one pound 75 and the um fry bentos stuff was two pounds and i picked this up thinking it was cheaper and actually when i scanned it it was one pound 75 but i didn't actually realize until i'd um paid for it so that to be fair may just go in like a stew or something like that um but I'm not sure about that one, so I'm not going to say whether I recommend it or not. Oh, the cat is coming and saying hello. Hi, Bowie. He's just being obnoxious because he wants to go outside and it's raining and I won't let him. Because he just goes and sits in a field with the llamas that are near me and tries to bother them. Um, this is an Audi one, 59p meatballs and tomato sauce. And he's going to come back again. Hi. What you doing? Hi. You can't have it. Why are you licking it? What you doing? Okay, out of focus. Come on. Hello. Uh, coconut oil in Audi at the minute is one pound sixty-five for two hundred seventy-six grams or three hundred mils. I've got a couple of those actually now that they've done them more regularly. Great food segments in juice. What I found in Audi and what I already have in my stock already is I've got tons of like the peaches and the mandarins, which is what they had, but I like a little bit of variety and some options. So this was £1.10 in Tesco's. I'm hoping when I go through to B&M's and Asda tomorrow um, that I'll be able to get some different things that are not over a pound, <laughs> but we have that one there. Oh, come on 
um, applesauce. I could eat that just out of the jar with a spoon, but that is 49p. And Dijon mustard was 45p. It used to be 33p, which is why I just wrote that down on autopilot. But again, I use that as a cooking base. So this will not stay in my pantry for very long because I will cook with it. Um, this one was definitely an Emily's Budgets inspired buy. There are two items of those and I just thought that actually, yeah, that makes sense. £1.75 for sliced lemons in lemon juice. When she bought hers, they were £1.70 and I think that video was out like a month ago. So in, in a month, they've gone out like, gone up like 5p. Um, honey, just clear honey um, is 75p. Couldn't get it in Aldi, but it's a similar price. So I got it in Tesco's instead. And Aldi seedless rum raspberry jam 79p as well i'm running out of space just got to do a little bit of kitchen side management guys uh mayonnaise i have had this before it's 55p and that will just sit in my stock cupboard but again i actually use that as a base as well for some pastas and things pasta tuna sweet corn bit of mayonnaise it's quite nice um couldn't get the equivalent in aldi that is 90p for herb tomato sauce and then this was actually the one thing i got in sainsbury's because it was across the road from the audi and that was 90p as well for the vegetable sauce because i couldn't get it in tesco's and i use that with meatballs uh the garden peas two of those i've already got some of these so it is just stocking up and that's 21p each still and that's the same price actually in tesco's as well but i got those from audi pear quarters in juice i got two of those and that's a pound again so I'm actually just going to, hang on guys, this may even turn out to be my shortest video yet. So um, Tesco's, uh, really, really, like no bottled water whatsoever, apart from like the small on-you-go drinks. This is five litres from Audi and it was £1.9. They had lots of these in and I have six of these in total, so this times six. So that is 30 litres of water, which between me and the cat should give me just over a week of water if needed. And we have had, my parents live in a village about 30 minutes away um, and they had water cut off very recently and it was three days again before that comes back. So in really rural areas what, like where I live, it is an absolute possibility that you will lose access to water and if you're lucky, like after 48 hours, the water company might put a pump out on your road, which which will serve everyone in the road. And I can remember... 15 years ago so I was a teenager having to go and queue for water with mum and my sister with all of the pots and all of the bottles and everything at Christmas time because the pipes had frozen and then they'd cracked and this was three days before Christmas and they've had that again recently so yeah electric blackouts we have all of that <laughs> just not a problem when you're in work like I am and you just come back and you go oh we've had a power cut but sometimes it's a bit more than just a day gravy 32p i wouldn't actually use that to like pour over stuff but i would actually probably use it in a slow cooker or as part of like a base um i only drink skimmed milk anyway so um dried skim milk it was £2.55 and that is until September 2023 and to be honest I don't have a lot of milk as it is only really in like my coffees and my hot chocolates I'm not a great dairy drinker there's orange juice at the back there that's 79p and then I've got two lots of skimmed UHT milk and that was 65p I remember when that was 49p and that was pre-pandemic distilled vinegar at the minute is still 32p and that I got two bottles of those and then a normal malt vinegar is 32p pardon me as well whole green beans in water 85p at the minute both from tesco so you can get the super cheap veggies like the um garden peas for 21p however if you're wanting other things different you are going to pay a little bit more for those which i was happy to do because i wanted that variety because i get bored very easily especially when i'm eating but it is just worth bearing in mind that you know i bought two less of those three four less of those so i could buy one of those for example um mixed vegetables and water now i was really pleased to find these i'd not seen them before they're for 40p and they contain I'm hoping this is going to focus water carrot turnip peas and green beans so i got four of those and again i've not seen them before so that would go really well in a stew or some kind of hot pot mix or some kind of crock pot 
Um, so I'm quite pleased with those. The new potatoes are still 33p. I got four of those. There's another one hiding just down there. Um, and again, I would just put them in and cook. I couldn't get any of this in Tesco's, but I did see the price ticket on the shelf edge and it's still 45p. So that is the same, um, but that's an Audi and that is, I think, a kilogram. Yeah, one kilogram of rice is 45p. Um, baked beans and pork sausages are 39p in Tesco's. They had something similar in Audi, but I'd already been at some point and gotten these. So I have two of those. Um, linguine, which I cook with anyway, but 90p. That used to be 55p last year. So that's gone up. Sugar is 65p and that is for one kilogram. And again, that's something I'll decant. This is my second Emily's Budgets inspired by, which is the Long Life Beef Stock, which was £1.75. Again, I think when she bought it, it was £1.70. That is only until March 2023, but I will use that. And I'm just going to check the date on that one. Yep, so it's the same batch. But actually, that was worth doing. And what I did actually, when I went to Tesco's, was I went and immediately found these first. And so that, just those, came to £3.50. Uh, no, they didn't. They came to, I can't do maths. 350, 455, 25. So then I knew what I was working with. So I made sure to find the expensive, like luxury items first and then built from there. And I just used the little scanny thing. Um, two lots of coconut milk at the minute. Thanks, Linguini. Audi is still the cheapest and that's 69p for a can. And I cook a lot of curries from scratch anyway. But I was short on these. But at the time I was. I didn't have all of my cash on me. I've been trying, although I've got a lot of cash spending this week to do, I didn't want to take it all out with me in case I got carried away. Pineapple slices, 75p in Audi. Same price in Tesco's, but they didn't have any. And then you've seen the pear quarters. So, that is everything. Um, which I'm now all going to have to put away and I'm not even done yet. I will do a separate B&M slash Asda haul, which I'm going to tomorrow. Today is Friday. I'm going to carry my budget over slightly by one day just for ease. Um, because again, that was a trip that should have happened this week and it was planned for for spending on for this week. But we just had to do a slight change of plans due to personal circumstances. So um, I'm quite happy with these. I've got to find room for them which is like an ongoing battle but I have got things that I'm going to decant that need to be decanted um so there's that and then I've also been getting things I'm just going to very quickly show you something as well which has kind of caused me to need to decant beyond the space saving my granddad has been told he's no longer allowed to eat nuts so when my mum went to visit him she came back with um lots of things like these they are already open as you can see so to try and preserve them um i'll be needing to kind of get some air sealed things which is why there's a bit time urgent on that as well so um always say yes to freebies and what i've also done is made sure that whatever i have if my neighbor were to come to me and say to me like she did in the pandemic i've got no food and i've got no money then I know that I'm in a position to help her and she equally knows that as well. So this is not all reserved for me when, um, you know, when things start to come to the end of their shelf life and I don't think I'm going to use it up, I send it off to a food bank. I've given stuff to my siblings, to my parents, to my neighbour, um, in fact, to both sets of neighbours because I'm on a run of four houses. So there's four of us, um, four households, so to speak, of course, because that makes sense. Um, so this is all shared so everything is used everything is cooked all dates are monitored and I just make sure that I've got enough in I'm up to now I think about four weeks worth of food me eating at a normal rate if I were to reduce my food intake in the event of something happening and not being able to get out and go anywhere um, I'm in an area which is prone to heavy flooding as well so we have been cut off before and stuck in the village and the village's supplies then very quickly run out. Ah, oh, the joys of living in a rural area. It has its perks, but you do have to think slightly differently, I have found, when you're living there. I have lived in cities, I've lived in three or four cities, and I've been within in one city, I was within a 10-minute walking distance of a giant Asda, and that was my local shop, and that was wonderful. However, here, you actually have to trek out, so... There's been a lot of driving this week, there's a lot of different buying going on, and all of that will be revealed in my 
budget reconciliation and I will also do a separate haul of things that I have got which are non-food prep specific but that is shop is not yet done and we will get there eventually but thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed like I said no um monetary total at the minute because I'm not done um but what I'll do is see you on the next video which I'm not sure which one it'll be at this rate um but I'm gonna love you and leave you don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you all next time bye bye